name is Michael Furlong, I'm an electrical computer engineer and graduate student at Carnegie Mellon University. I've been developing software and testing the robot at the Carnegie Mellon Robot City facility. Well, my name is Kel Guerin, and uh, you could describe me as an integration engineer. One of the requirements of the Google Lunar X Prize is that whatever kind of rover that you send up there needs to be able to see 40% of its outer surface area. You want pictures of the rover in the lunar context uh, rather than just pictures of the lunar terrain without being able to see you in it. When you're just looking out into the world, as humans we have the advantage of, of feeling gravity, of being comfortable or knowing how we're sitting on something or how we're standing, if the ground beneath us is, is unsafe. But when you're just looking out through the cameras, you don't really have that sense for what kind of uh, state you're in. This camera being able to see the, the top of the rover is, is pretty good, but on our current configuration it only amounts to about 25 to 30 percent. So we see uh, that we're gaining on a rock. If, if we can't see where the body of the robot is, then we can't really judge how or when we're going to hit it. What I'm trying to do is design a set of parabolic mirrors which will sit on the outside of the rover in, in a position about here. And from there, the camera will not only be able to see the upper part of the, the rover, but will also be able to see down here and be able to look at these wheels and see the interaction there between the soil. Is one of your wheels dug into the soil? I mean, you, you can't tell that from the sensors that most robots are equipped with. Some preliminary calculations have shown that having those mirrors gives us almost 50%. If we can't see the robot, we can't kind of understand how the robot is interacting with the world around it, then we lose the ability to drive as safely or as efficiently and quickly as we'd like to. That gives us a, a much greater uh, perspective of where we are, what's around us, and, and what we look like on, on the lunar surface.